Welcome back to the Black Parade. You need only allow me to guide you. Do you mind? And the harp will be yours. Yes, yes. As I was saying, welcome back to the Black Parade. Mission 5, The Brand. Make sure to always follow the corporate guidelines when using the brand. Never refer to it as simply the Black Parade, but always Thief, the Black Parade action adventure role playing game unofficial expansion. TM. So, what is this supposed to be? Well, I can uh, right click to use this odd looking fellow. Right, plus doors behind me to keep uh, zombies out. Yeah, we've got loot in here. Oh, there's our loot gold. That's great. That's something I don't have to worry about then. We've got attic access here as well. Know, should I finish? None shall pass into the harm, but by my guidance. Yeah, yeah. I will take you there. Yeah, I understand that. What I'm wondering is, should I put all the candles out, which would be funny, but would release this guy, right? That's the way he's summoning your axe, isn't it? So we've got another painting here. It's five of the seven. I feel like bad things are gonna happen. Whether I put the candles out, or whether I talk to them. Maybe there isn't actual proper attic access up here. might regret doing this, just in terms of not being able to get an hour back. But let's, let's have a... or jumping into the summoning circle, which is probably... I am the beacon to the treasure you seek. Come <sighs> to me. Stepping into the summoning circle is probably a bad idea. Hello. This is the treasure I seek right now. Okay. This is really nicely done, right? Holes in the roof, roughly patched up. How do I get down safely? I guess I can drop a rope in there and try to grab that. Softly on the bed. Should I go and try and find the altitude paintings before interacting with you? I feel like it's gonna go, things are gonna go bad when I interact with this guy. You need only allow me to guide you, and the harp will be yours. Yep. Yeah. Well. All right, let's just talk to him, come on. What could possibly go wrong? Are you actually moving there? Sorry, saw his arms move, but it's kind of not moving also, mostly. <laughs> you fool. Did you think I was a mere idol? Heed and watch. Pathetic creature, your flesh shall putrefy, and your life shall wither away to serve their schemes. You can already feel it, can't you? How does it feel being branded a sacrifice? Hmm. 
My brand comes at a great price for a mortal such as you. But it does have a few benefits. Use my gift well for the rest of your pitifully short life. Um... What did you do to me? Can you... Can you explain? We close the doors and like... Steal them or something. You were supposed to show you were supposed to take me to the heart, but you... Were you lying to me? Wait. What's that thing on the door? Well, yeah, that's a good question. What's happening to you? Strange sigils on the wall. Harp is nowhere to be found. That thing said you were branded for somebody. Find out what you can. Zombie. Where did you come from? Well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, in, this, in the interest of science, I'm just going to quick load here. And, uh, see what happens. I am the beacon to the treasure account. you seek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to me. See what happens if I put out the candles instead? That should break the summoning, right? If you break the circle, you release them. If you put out the candles, you stop the whole thing, right? You'd have no power if I do this, right? Yeah? Or are you just going to do the same thing? <laughs> Just the same. Kind of what I figured. Maybe, maybe the magic works differently than back when he was a kid. Right. Feel like an executioner. I thought the zombies are gone, but there's definitely still zombies around. I can hear their footsteps. Right, let's try going up. up. Right. To places I did not navigate to before. See, so here you can see a lot clearer what I was what I was talking about. Um, right, we have. Ceiling below, then we have a void, then we have the floor. It's, it's great. I love seeing attention. I mean, I never really do it myself. Um, but I love seeing attention to actual construction details. In like, uh, Thief missions or just generally video game designs. It doesn't happen that much. Hello. Who are you? And is this candle valuable? No. You one of the hot trees? You don't look so hot to me. Oh, he's got, oh he's, he got the big knife. That looks like the big knife he's got. Okay, we've got ghosts with various weapons, I see. Not inclined to talk very much. So we came up from the bedroom. There is an upper floor, which I guess goes over this central area. I guess it's, uh, and there's the vent to the other room there. If 
Funny, they don't look much like their portraits. I probably should have explored the alley first, right? There's still all the brains in the bathtub. Find out more. How am I going to find out more? Well, reading this book isn't giving me answers. I can't read it. Just get out, climb out on the roof, escape! Get away from this horrific place. No. That's probably not going to give me answers, right? Oh, and there's still zombies. I'm wandering around here. There's nothing. Yawn. It's that guy I'm more concerned about. The zombie I can... about the bathroom. I didn't even look up. Nice. I could have roped up here and come out on the roof that way. That roof level. And that is above here. I wonder if sometimes we might be able to get in. I guess we can say hole in roof up here, right? Be able to get in there. If you can't get in from this level, we won't be able to get in that way. Okay, they're downstairs. Good time for me to come and put some candles out. Oh, we can't go in this way. It's just there was just a zombie in the way there. So Stephen Howard Atkinson Hawtrey. That's six. We've got one more portrait. Why do they want these portraits back? They're not family portraits, quite clearly. Interesting. Lord Whitsimon is urging the lady to evacuate, despite our moderate distance from this accursed cathedral. Most of the house guards have already fled the pathetic cowards. Some even took trinkets and jewelry like rogues. Captain Kepi is still with the lady and has barricaded the front gates. I can hear the raging fires and the terrifying battles going on against the undead from my window, several blocks away in Deperran Street. I heard they are trying to build a big wall to contain the undead pouring from the cathedral. Oh, what terrible dire times. I barely have time to write this. Lord Whitsimmon has arrived with his guard and a contingent of hammerheads to help us flee the old quarter. I don't know if this letter will ever reach you, but I hope I'll be able to see you again. Your love, Biddy. Okay, so we've been in there. I've not been down here yet, so... 
we have another battery, anyway. Uh, gas arrow, that'll be extremely useful against ghosts who are somewhat immaterial and zombies that don't breathe. I'm just admiring the tower. Very nice tower. I do not like this wrought iron fencing though. It's far too Victorian. In fact, this whole manor is rather a bit Victorian in style. It's just like... Mm. It's never a thing until... Until Deadly Shadows and the Deadly, Deadly Shadows suddenly... Victorian architecture was everywhere. To me, it just does not fit. There's no... Just like horses, in my... In my uh, interpretation of the city, there's no Victorian architecture. There was also possibly a crawl way up there, it looks like. No, oh, just a pallet of bricks. Why well, can't I was gonna I was gonna complain about usage of pallets as well because Not sure that I haven't seen a single hand truck. And obviously they've not invented forklifts. Patriot had forklifts, right? I think I made this comment. In Patriot. Um, I don't think they've invented things that need. <sighs> yeah, come on, come on. Great, stuck. He did not mantle inside successfully. Right. It's only a problem for noise making. It's not a, not high enough to be a problem otherwise. Um, yeah, so I was going to make some comment about, yeah, this is just not working. Let's try from slightly lower the mantle. There we go. Oh, I'm still not crouched, but that's all right, I can get on the beam. Even if I go clack. Um, what was I saying? Pallets of bricks? Yes. I would complain that it's, again, a weird anachronism. And it is, uh, but it also it's one that I used in making a profit. So I guess I don't have a right to complain very much. No, there's just not really much point going up here instead of instead of just going and look the straightforward way. Ambience. Almanac on the wall, that's that's a choice of candle. Does this say tell us anything? Adept Kekim. Our experiments with taming that thing have taken their toll on our Tatiana's flower supply. At this rate we will have exhausted our stock come next week. I have no news from our agent at Highwatch. I fear he may have been compromised. In the meantime we will have to find another way to get them. I have it on good authority that a certain Dorcas Goodfellow, a wretched criminal hailing from Blackbrook, trades in magical items such as these. It repulses me having to deal with this kind of low life, but we are in dire need of these flowers. I have arranged a meeting with one of her lackeys in Hightown and will have already departed by the time you read this letter. Acolyte Anslots. These, uh... Majors in this house. Anti-majors. Where Tatiana's flowers are for controlling magic, preventing the operation of magic things. Adepts, acolytes, they're either majors or keepers, but this is not this does not feel like a keeper kind of place. I wanna go through that door, but just waiting for the zombie to decide. What he's gonna do and where he's gonna go. Uh, right. Where are we now? Oh, is this one of the rooms we couldn't get into? Yeah, okay, let's come back here in just a minute. Let's check down here first. Oof. 
Oh, this is this is the library, right? We were we were in the library area. Yeah. So this is the really busted up stairway. Okay. You saw nothing. Can I get a rope to fall down there? Yes. Oh. Was that? I think they're supposed to be bashing down the doors, but uh, not really working. Oh, there it goes. I say not really working correctly, but. Sorry, mate. Right, this is the one I couldn't get in. Well, I mean, you look rather more like your portrait than the others. A few, a bit less jewelry. Who are you? Which. You one of the hot trees? A little ogre step here? Oh, I guess it's valuable. You must be Sir William Herbert Hawtree. <laughs> that pose, man, that pose. He's just like leaning casually on one arm, grinning at the camera. I mean, that's a painter. Alright, that's the last one. It is indeed, but we got the painting. We got no answers except as to why uh, we can't get in this room. Okay. Hanging Willie, they call him. The William Walton portrait. Dangling Willie would be better, wouldn't it? I should have written <sighs> Dangling Willie. LOL Alright, where, where am I going now? Oh, can we get down the... is there a way down here? No holes in this floor Because that was a door that would not open before, but maybe it'll be open to us now? Up here Maybe that's the gift. We can open doors that were previously sealed with the sigil. Oh, the ghost of that way. Ah, uh, looks like what might indeed be the case. behind me. Now we've got two books to read. Let's try the diary first. It troubles me that this measly fragment is the only known remains of the instructions that Pius Rat Abuktia was writing against. The original rituals must have been wondrous beyond comprehension. A more complete copy is needed before I can be sure of my translation. Control of the Sentience by Ur Magus Abuktiar. A critical excerpt of the lost original work of Uptiar's tablets, presented in its original Ur magic script. The 
realm of souls is like a door. Visualize to enter the sentient's mind. One should have either the keys to open it, or the cunning to weaken the barrier and let it move aside for him. Establish control after entry, not before. Wise is the one who studies the sentient to balance inhibitors and keep the sentient weak with what is unknown to it until the ritual of taming is complete. If done correctly, I become a conduit for its power. That seems significant, but I can't make anything out of it. <laughs> Bash the chest in. Ah, and they use the padlocks. Don't otherwise have much of a use. There are two books to read. Philosophers of yore described the secrets of the soul in a way that was far more complex and sophisticated than the drivel of contemporary erudites and the clergy like to regurgitate when they are not wasting their time on futile debates on whether asking this question is a sacrilegious act or not. While the Order of the Hammer speaks of Numa and of Sarks, and the pagans like to talk about primitive mythology with an often puerile credulity, the truth is this. Every mortal being, sentient and intelligent, is made of four sacred elements. Firstly, there is the bow yadral, the chest, the shell, the body, the cadaver. And then the yol, the cogito, the feelings, the conscience, the realization of existence, life's azoth. It is a difficult subject for non-initiates, but it is also the true name. Afterwards, there is the kubitla, the opposite of the yol, the shadows, the natural result stating that everything possessing a physical existence also has a shadow, the proof of mortality. And this is a delicate subject to explain. Finally, there is the car, that which cannot be explained, for it has too many meanings. In truth, one could call it destiny. The Sworn Book of Alutar, the Six-Eyed Channeler. The place of power shall be away from the world of man, far into the deepest desert, buried in the blind lands, high in the tallest mountains, below the profound waters. And it shall be clean and free from the thought of worldly passions. Thus the place, once chosen, shall be purified, and so by burning offerings of corpse wax, lime water, and cloves. And pure myrrh shall be brought, and purified sand. And the sand shall be burned in the brazier of calling, and the myrrh shall be scattered around the brazier as an offering to the four winds. And thou shalt be naked in thy right, as the priests of yore were naked in their rituals. And thou shalt draw fresh blood from a sacrificial child with a blessed dagger, embroidered in the most precious silk, and a circle shall be drawn sunways on the ground with the fresh blood, in the midst whereof thou shalt stand, while reciting the conjurations of Alijar, taking care not to venture forth from the boundaries of the Mandala, lest thou be consumed by the unseen from Erebos, the lower heavens, the darkest plains. And a vessel full of the soul of man, be it honest in life or evil, shall be placed in the centre of the circle, and the incantations to the Lord of Erebos shall be pronounced, and a portal to the dark sanctuary shall be opened. O Channeler, O Magus, ready thy mind. Be open and sober and patient for the revelations, obedient as a child to his father, as fathers to the priests, as priests to gods, and gods to the Demiogus, the Almighty. Okay. Well, I'm... Obviously not expected to do that ritual because I don't have a remove clothes button. Unless the Black Parade added it and I just forgot to put it in my keybinds. Yeah, that's, that's, maybe, maybe that is a thing. Alright. So that was one of the sealed doors. We can get in there now. That's magic books, basically. The magic books room. And I guess that we don't need to like that. Uh, I guess I want to go back downstairs then. <clears throat> Maybe the music room, but more likely the cellar has stuff for us. I'm gonna save and load, see if they fix their pathfinding. They're kind of just stuck on the stairs. There we go. <laughs> I think they might have seen me. 
trying to be. <clears throat> oh dear, this could be bad. Let's let's. Ah! Shit. I'm out of healing. That was a very bad idea. It was a very bad idea, but it was my idea, and I did it. So I'll take the. Take the consequences. She really moved fast when she's uh, riled up. Where am I going? I just keep going this way. Although, if I want to go to the music room. Pocket of ghosts? I've never tried. Oh no, they've got... They've got a whole bunch of floating stakes. Not the tasty kind, the uh, sharpened sticks. Which I assume they can then hurl... If they see something they want to... Uh, They would want to attack. Right, nothing seems to be happening here in the music room. I didn't read this plaque, did I? Oh yeah, that's that was one of the paintings was there. Well, I left my rope here. And here, pipes below the, between the floor and the ceiling. Beautiful. All right, we can. I guess we are now able to uh, get into these doors. This one and the one in the kitchen, and presumably they both go to the same area. Maybe, maybe in here we can find answers. Well, the furnace is still running. Is that a live zombie there? Not sure. Oh, I should leave the door open. No, it seems to be quite dead zombie, okay. Hmm, collected body parts. Who is keeping that furnace fueled? Let's... Clear. Hello? There were audible words there. They say the smell is not so bad after a few days. It's been months. Huh. That's not what I expected to hear. Let's keep listening a bit. With the dead, in the language of the dead. <laughs> so there's a couple of folks in there just idly, idly chatting to each other. Can't stare into the light very long, even when it's dim. Ooh, I thought that was a quiet table. There's vials of like bile and blood or something, I don't know. Well, there's another door there. 
I feel like this is probably is a live zombie. Yeah. Where is the master and the rest of our acolytes? They went deeper beyond the barricades to study the strange aura coming from the cathedral. The master finds this aura rather peculiar. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? The team was very specific. We are to keep an eye on the experiments and to make sure the artifact is kept secure until Lalakaba returns with the next batch of Tatiana's flowers. We cannot tame it properly unless it is drugged. That greedy merchant's prices are far too steep for such a product. True. But in the meantime, the use of Tatiana's flowers is the only way, and no one knows of any other item with such properties. Besides, we cannot risk going to the SE range ourselves to gather them. The Hand has spies there. Enough talk. Let's get back to work now. I can't do anything. So tired, but I can't sleep. They do not seem to be. They do not seem to be dead. Which concerns me. I clearly know something about the harp. What? Serving zombie. Holding a platter. I think something in the sewing? Something in the bath. Serving up as another zombie. Acolyte Orha. I am very concerned about something, but can't bring myself to tell either Adept Kekim or Azaran himself. We are mortals and thus require sustenance, but our food and water supplies rot at an alarming rate. Water isn't really a problem since the canal provides all we need, but there are no living creatures anymore around the manor. Our hunting expeditions take us deeper and deeper into the sealed section, and our fresh food expenses are getting far too high. It is worth noting that our experiments cause nearby flora to wither and die, among others, and I fear the canal may propagate this blight, as I've noticed dying bushes beyond the manor grounds, while the wild and unruly vegetation elsewhere is untouched. It is also important to mention that every time we leave the manor to buy supplies, we risk being discovered. Something must be done about this. You know who. Well, he knows if I douse his candle. I was using that to see, he yells. What is this door? It does look significant, doesn't it? I'm actually gonna. Oh, I was gonna say I'm preemptively moss it, but you know what? I will read the note. Try and stay off that. In order to do so. Crate and carry it away, okay. okay. Crate was empty. While I am away studying the aura emanating from the cathedral, pursue the recent progress made in keeping the undead both servile and violent, fitting flesh for a revenant army. Paramount above even this, however, is to keep ever vigilant of the statuette. No matter our capacity to use it, we are not in control of it. Expect more relays to be lured here unwittingly. Stay behind sealed doors until I return. The prying into the ghostly melody around the music room is to cease. It is a trick of the statuette. Were there some magical harp on the grounds, we would have discovered it long ago. Azran. Necromancers. Do I need to figure that out? I guess the talk of the Revenant army. Steal the harp is cancelled. Huh. 
Wait a minute, our only objective is to get out now? That doesn't feel like it would be sufficient. sack on his head? Yeah. So I haven't been in this room at all, right? A big experiment room. You're still there. I know the price of dealing with black magic, mm. but hallucinations. So. so. We get to a dark corner, or at least a sufficiently dark corner. I guess I proved yourself useful after all. Okay, what are they writing about? Uh, okay, that's the same, exact same notice. Wrote it out twice. I guess they're, uh... I guess they're just here doing necromancy, hello. I didn't... That's a surprise. I did not expect a book on top of a pile of books to be readable. That's... Your fluke, I happened to step close enough to it. Research is going particularly well, blood analysis. Subject 201, a thief we caught, seems to perfectly react to the energy surge in his blood linked to fire. The vital cycle is broken. The soul has obviously lost the vessel, but the heart beats still and the lungs breathe still. Subject does not feel pain. The overdose of fire increases his aggression. Another dose and his flesh would explode, just like a fire crystal. Drowning seems to work, probably through a pacifying of the fire that is keeping him alive and that leaves a body with a departed soul on this earth. Why holy water? What reaction? More tests need to be done. It's not a critical book, it's just flavor, so I guess it's... Uh, Sackhead? You're never letting me go in here. Uh, Unbothered. Oh, we have another sealed door. Oh, that must be the one uh, um, in the kitchen. Master Grumovol, we're rather satisfied with our little trade so far, but I think I have to remind you again that we are very pick picky concerning your merchandise. Do I need to remind you of the prices? 2,000 for a fresh corpse, 1,000 for a fresh but damaged corpse, 500 for a decomposed corpse. Please, don't try to bargain again and ask for another raise. I do believe we already give you more than enough. Another thing. There's no need to try your chance again with your puny embalming techniques. We are far from being dimwits and even further from being patient. You know who. That's a poor, sad training dummy. Well, there's no healing potions here. There's all sorts of other potions that would probably be quite 
harmful to consume. Can I chop down this banner there? Not the banner, just a hanging bit of cloth, I guess. Oh, I can't put the light out. It's a gong. Is there anything else in here at all? I kind of want to ring it just for fun. We'll ring it and then close the door. Let's see if... Uh, see if Sackboy over there uh, gets excited by it. Nice skull. Uh, he's not very smart, is he? Uh, I just see him break down the door, you know? Uh, Maybe he just doesn't realize the sound came from that. Why is he coming towards me? Well, that ain't right. Yeah. Such uh, unruly, you know? Oh, I got three three healing potions? Where did they come from? Oh, I must have been hitting the wrong hotkey then. You know, I was worrying about only having two hit points. For no reason whatsoever. Okay, I don't want to step on that. Guess he won't be able to follow me here. When did I get the three healing potions? I haven't used the garden key yet. Yeah, okay, so this is the... Uh... This is the kitchen. Which means... Quick way out the back door there. <sighs> have I been in that door? I don't think I have been in this door. I don't think I've seen this door. Oh no, I have. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 this one up, up here. Magic books room. Okay. Smoke bomb would. What use of smoke bomb would be against undead? What is that guard, friend? So is that what is that we're gonna go back to the wall and say there was no harp and there's some necromancers doing weird shit, you know the usual. Really, he's gonna be satisfied with that? Do we really think the wall is gonna be satisfied with that? He's just gonna say, "No, you got too scared." I mean, I got the seven portraits, but he doesn't care. He doesn't even know that, and I have no evidence that they're from here. This just seems like a. A really bad plan. Uh, that's, that's what 
he wants to do. So we will humor him. Ho ho ho. Best way out of here. There's a ledge there, but I don't think I can get to it. Well, I guess that's a thing I can do. Fall in the water. Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting Aloe and Zombies. Wow. And now he's just gonna sit here wandering the uh, canal bed forever. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so. We could go back by the sewers. I don't wanna go back by the sewers. I wanna go back by. I wanna go over the barricade to get back if I can. Or at least near it, so... <laughs> that was amazing. I'm very glad I was going watching when that happened. That, was, that would have been uh, unfortunate to miss. Whoops, sorry mate. Didn't mean to disturb your... Ablutions down there. Ugh. There is a ledge there, but there's no way I would get to it, right? There's no no wood to attach to. Um, are those windows something I should be getting? Have I been in that cross there? I don't think I have been in the cross there. Okay, change of change of direction. I'm gonna go up to the bridge again. Oh, I took some. I took some did quite some damage from that uh, incident, actually. Thanks, Mouse, for uh, letting the button go sooner than I wanted. <sighs> I think it would be been okay. I do believe that Rogaro's float in the water. So whoever those chains are seeing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that does not look familiar to me. <sighs> There's banners that have not been chopped down here, hello. Some dead guy too, but you know. Okay, he doesn't want to be disturbed, so that's fair. That one's not valuable, alright. I guess that's it, nothing more. <sighs> Does not get me back to the so called civilization. Maybe we'll recover that as well. Have I been up here? Alright, yeah, that was the we looked at that ladder that overlooks the uh, the manor. I think I've been in this room. Oh well, here's the ledge I was trying to get to. Oh, it's a... Uh... It's a passageway. Hello. <sighs> it's 
You say this looks familiar, but I mean, it does look ruined. Everything looks ruined. I'm not sure if it is familiar. Yeah, I looked up there. I remember that board. Okay. Let's see where this passage leads then. Probably just to the sewers, right? Fight. Water up door. Alright, this is just this room that, that she's wandering around that I guess I didn't fully explore. Inside the fallen over yellow tower. It might be yes. <sighs> Very. <sighs> well, inside a fallen over tower. Guys, you're super noisy here. Broken, uh, broken table there. Although there's a the money box is open. The candle, the mushroom was on. Maybe I haven't been in here. Definitely been here. This is a uh, fallen soldier. All oh, right, he's uh, also wishing not to be disturbed. Excuse me, my you know, it's uh, making zombie noises. I think they're uh, thinking the zombies here are something to imitate. Get me back to the barricades. Well, I can. We can get back in the apartment, right? We we know the apartment's accessible. I can hear Mr. Me 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 again, so we must be near someplace sane, <laughs> if not someone. Yeah. All right. Now the magic book they found and threw in the canal makes a lot more sense. Um, and this must be what they found one of the necromancers ones. Sorry, what did they say about it? Get in there, Hume. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um. Right, right. Massive mana, no point of entry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's completely dead. Yeah, weird book we found in a secluded room. But it wasn't inside the mana because they couldn't get in. Maybe someone left it there from somewhere else. Well then, all we gotta do is get back to where we started. <sighs> right, and that explains why there's... Or bricked up uh, windows and stuff in various rooms that we've seen. It's all, it's all, those are the ones overlooking the sealed section. 
Me, 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 me. There's a guard, I don't know if you want to. Risk is wrath, let's see if we can get on this pillar. Oh, we just dropped this thing. La, 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 la. I don't think we have to worry about the guards. Alright, so we're just heading south. No, west and then south. Well, gun key is probably irrelevant except for more loot. Sorry, Mr. DeWalt. <sighs> that thing said you were branded for somebody. Well, I don't know what that means. I'm sure it'll be fine. Wow, okay. We missed... <laughs> Almost 1,200 loot somewhere. Well, that's probably a lot more scattered around corners of the sealed section. Probably a fair bit more in the town we didn't find as well. And I'm sure a few pieces in the manor. That's quite a lot to be missing. Well, I thought that was reasonably thorough. I guess I took less than three hours, right? So this is like the shortest mission so far, I think. All right. Well, that's an excellent place to end this particular episode. So I guess when we come back, we're going to find just how dangerous DeWall's temper tantrums are, right? Or whether he thinks necromancers are more important, more valuable than some weird heart. I don't know. But uh, whatever, we, whatever we find out, it'll happen next time. So I'll see you then.